I've been in in Indiana where, um, you know, I, I, I had to lead a franchise, um, you know, and so um, the beauty here is I get to do that uh, with one of the best um, in the world in Kawhi. Um, and, you know, now Kawhi's down, you know, it, it was just that mindset being back in Indy, um, you know, having to, you know, set the tone um, and, and come out and uh, lead a ball, a ball club. Um, that's really the mindset that I came out with. So um, it was nothing that I had to prove. It was nothing that, you know, I, I had to uh, be surprised about myself. Um, you know, I just dug into a place where that I've been already in my career. And um, again, it just came down to trust. Everybody just, you know, allowed me to lead and, um, you know, they, they, they kept pushing me and um, they just kept me into a, a great, you know, uh, mental space. I, all I got, man, is I, I'm so happy for dude, honestly, because while the criticism yep. was warranted, yep. the, the playoff P, which again was his nickname, that is his, you know, self-proclaimed, the playoff P, the pandemic P, whatever you want to call it, turned into, turned into a pejorative. It got out of control. It got out of control because people act like the dude was trash, like he wasn't a great player in Indiana, yeah. like he isn't an elite two-way guy, like he wasn't a franchise right. player, like he didn't come back from a catastrophic injury. They act like his like his heart pump Kool Aid or something because he hit the side of a backboard. Yeah, he struggled. Admitted struggle with his mental health. I think I said earlier when they were chatting overrated when he was at the free throw line. I'm like, I'm telling you, this dude got something coming. I didn't expect 37, 16, and five without Kawhi Leonard, but he gave it to him last night. And like, once you do that, like, there's no going backward from that. Like, I don't think any moment moving right. forward is going to appear too big for him because he can always rest on, hey, I came through when I told Ty Lue I was going to come through. When I told him, I got us. And so, just props to this man for enduring and coming out with a with a with a, 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 a historic performance. I think he's got three straight 30 point games, 12 straight 20 point games, something like that. He's been incredible. And now the Clippers can close out the Jazz at home without Kawhi Leonard. Who saw that coming? If they were going to do it, it wasn't going to be without Kawhi. They might do it without Kawhi, um, especially with the Jazz not having Mike Conley. And the last thing I want to just remind you of, yeah, it was definitely a mistake for them to trade for Paul George and certainly a mistake for them to resign him. Just want to throw that out one more time. Definitely a mistake. Absolutely. Well, no way they should have well, done we'll that. We'll see. No way they should have done got signed, traded Paul George and then signed Kawhi Leonard because they got Paul George and then giving Paul George a max extension. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, definitely. You know what? Right? You're one of those guys. You want to know since you wear glasses, yeah. whatever it is, whatever it is. By the way, whatever it is, I, yes, one of those guys. I even know what you about. To, yes, the answer is yes. I no, no, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. You are. You are the guy. One of those guys. <laughs> when you since you wear glasses, you go and and they give you the eye test. You see the individual lines, but you don't understand the the entire picture. So you just focused on a, a, a fraction of the story, but you missed the whole my larger point of championship. Now, when they do close out the Jazz, I don't believe that's for the NBA Finals, because I don't think they played NBA no, Finals within a conference. I think you have to play the Eastern Conference representative. And Pretty then you sure have that's to win how that four works. More games. Yeah. yeah, that's how it works. Anyway, right. Uh, but Paul George, right. I'm with you though. I'm with you on this, Mike. Uh, I am happy for him. And one thing he could have said there is not only have I led a franchise before, it's not my first rodeo. Listen, I've been a great player for a long time. I've had tight cornrows for a long time. I've, I've been up against <laughs> some of the best players in the world. LeBron, I've gone toe to toe with LeBron. Come on now. Don't act like uh, that I don't know how to handle myself when the best player on the other side, with all respect, who's a great player, is Donovan Mitchell. In other words, I've played against better than Donovan Mitchell, as great as he is, and I've had success. Like th those Indiana teams are really pushing uh, the Heatles uh, back in the day. Mm -hmm. So that's one. For Two, sure. I think Kevin Durant, I really mean this. I think Kevin Durant's performance not only inspired <clears throat> the basketball public um, and not really, really got, not only got people talking, it got the NBA talking. Like you can't watch one of your colleagues, one of your peers. You can't watch him go out there and ball out like that in a critical situation. And if you were a, any a, a player with some ability and a little bit of a conscience, you say, okay, you know what? I'm inspired. I'm gonna do that. I think it's it's nothing happens in a vacuum. Kevin Durant inspired. 
Paul George in a sense. Hey, I, I, he was without his guy. Look what he did. I'm a great player too. I'm not Kevin Durant. I'm a great player. I'm without my guy. I'm going to step up and show him. And the same thing I'm telling you, you got something historic. If Giannis is who we think he is, you got something big coming tonight from, from, from Giannis. Will he win the game? I'm not going to predict a win, although I think they're going to win. Um, but I know that Giannis is going to give you, oh, it's going to be like one of those 40 and 20 nights for Giannis. It's going to be great because NBA players are that great and that competitive. And that performance is so memorable from Kevin Durant. Anybody got a little bit of pride is going to respond to that. Hmm. They win by five. Interesting theory. I think it's more wishful think. I think it's more wishful thinking on your part. Uh, no, but no. I'm not wishing it. My I'm takeaway from it was I didn't, like, I didn't with all of these to, guys. I, I didn't tie it to victory. I didn't tie it to victory. I said it's okay. going to be a great performance from a great right. player. But I do think they're going to win. Okay. Uh, as an aside, next paragraph. Okay. Well, you need you you Bucks you you need that great performance from that great player in order to win. So nonetheless, well, I don't need it. It brought you. I, very, I know you're like, scared. Because time like waits for feet. no man, and pretty soon you're gonna have to figure out how am I gonna, what am I gonna say tomorrow? What nonsense am I gonna make up tomorrow for the, the what Bucks I, going I ain't gonna make up anything. I and even if facts. you go down at home, even if you win at home, you still gotta come to Brooklyn for game seven. But all I'll say to your larger point about the inspiration thing is I think, okay, that's an interesting theory in and of itself. I think the real takeaway is that these narratives that we attach to players. We act like they're permanent and we act and it's like once we make up our mind about what somebody is or isn't we forget what they did and decide what they're incapable of. So the common denominator I see between the only common denominator between Kevin Durant and Paul George is that with Kevin Durant like oh wait you forgot what this dude is capable of doing just because he played with other stars you forgot he's not the star of stars and with Paul George it's like oh you really thought this guy was just you know, a, a punchline. You thought you thought playoff P stand to a punchline. Like, no, the dude can ball. Right. The dude can get downhill. He's six nine, and physical, and 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 and, and is fearless in his own right. And now that Ty Lue's got him being more of an initiator and a facilitator, why? Like, why should we be surprised? Was really my takeaway. Will Giannis right. follow up? Will Giannis keep this trend going? I'd love to see it. To be honest with you, Michael, I would love to see it. I just want to say as we close as I as we close just for the just to reiterate. I'm not rooting against Giannis. I'm not rooting for Mike Budenholzer to be the fall guy. I'm not rooting for Giannis no. to, to struggle from the no. line and to take pull up threes. I love to see him have a historic game. That'd be a treat. I'd love to see a game seven. I'm rooting against you. That's, That's I'm rooting bad. against you. I'm rooting, I, I, I'm That's rooting for because Giannis you know against you. Hey, thanks for watching Brother from Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.